Good afternoon. Davao City First District Representative Paolo Duterte urges public officials to refrain from being onion-skinned after fellow lawmaker at Teachers Party List Representative Franz Castro filed a case against his father, former President Rodrigo Duterte. In a statement on Wednesday, the younger Duterte says that while he understands that it is the right of the people to file cases, doing so should not be used to, quote, silence critics. Representative Duterte explains that while his father has received harsher criticisms, the former president did not file any complaints supposedly in respect of free speech. The congressman dares Castro to come out clean and not hide behind this so-called right. Representative Duterte further claims that he knows a lot about, quote, left-leaning partylist representatives as a member of Congress himself, saying they should, quote, stop the drama. Castro on Tuesday filed grave threat complaints against the former president over his statements over national television. In a program over SMNI, ex-president Duterte relayed that he advised his daughter, Vice President Sara Duterte, to be frank about what she intends to do with the proposed confidential funds under her office. The former chief executive said this was to supposedly kill communists like Castro. An investigating team formed at the Department of Health will check if gross negligence and incompetence made it possible for hackers to leak the personal information of members of the Philippine Health Insurance Corps or PhilHealth. Health Secretary Ted Urbosa, who also sits as chairman of PhilHealth's board, tells reporters that he formed the team as a part of due process. Urbosa says uh, most of the systems of PhilHealth were already up but due to the leakage of pr private information on the dark web, the board ordered the agency's management to set up a crisis committee to attend to the data breach and data privacy concerns. According to Herbosa, the revamp of several top positions in PhilHealth, such as the Executive Vice President and Vice President for Finance, has also been approved. The PhilHealth online systems were hacked earlier this month, leaking the information of the members. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority announces that the number coding scheme will be suspended on October 30 and November 1-2. to 2. In a television interview on Tuesday, MMDA Acting Chairman Don Artes confirms that the number coding scheme will be suspended on Monday, October 30, in light of the Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections. It will also be suspended from Wednesday, November 1 to Thursday, November 2 for All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Artes says a large volume of passengers are expected in transportation terminals as early as Friday, October 27. Here's the latest roundup of today's top stories. After ACT Teachers Party List Representative Franz Castro filed a case against former President Rodrigo Duterte, Davao City First District Representative Paulo Duterte urges public officials to refrain from being onion-skinned. Less than a week before the Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections, Comelec announces that its precinct finder is now back online. And MMDA announces that the number coding scheme will be suspended on October 30 and November 1 to 2. And these are the stories you need to know today. I'm Neil Mercado. Follow Inquirer.net on Facebook, X, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Reddit. For more stories, visit Inquirer.net. Good afternoon.